Have you been curious how to change your permalinks to be a custom permalink and not have the ugly URL structure that comes by default inside of WordPress? Well, I'm going to show you how today. There are many reasons why you would want to have a better URL structure and permalinks. The reason they're called that is because this is going to be a permanent link, hopefully that you're going to use out there for people to find pages on your website or blog. So we don't want them to just say page ID equals something. That's really not easy to remember if you've got a lot of pages on your site, right? And it doesn't tell the reader what they're going to get to if they follow a link. So it's better if we have custom URLs that are, user friendly, they're SEO friendly as well. They're human readable. So let's just take a quick look. This is a simple process to do in your WordPress site. So right now you'll see on the front of my website, if I'm on home, I'm just an index PHP. So I don't have anything after it. But once I start going to pages, whether it be a page like the our story, or whether I go all the way into my blog, this is obviously just a sample site, but you can see this blog belongs in a category called behind the barrel. So if I open up this blog, you can see that if I want to send someone the permalink, basically it's going to be my URL forward slash question mark P equals 258. Well, that's not very user, user friendly. So we're going to make it so. So let's go back to the back end of WordPress. In the back end of WordPress, you'll go down to settings and then permalinks. Inside of your permalink settings, you'll see there are the common settings and then there's also a custom structure. So the common settings here, I could just use what we're using, which we don't want to do that. We know we could do a day and time, a month and day. Those do have their places. It would be really a heavy blog that's based in in chronological order right there's a reason for the date to be in that url <clears throat> but in our instance what we're looking at is we're looking at a blog that is more category based let's say now i will tell you that a lot of people like to just use the post name and that is going to give you a very nice readable url so in other words if i set it to post name let's do that first real quickly and I save changes. I go to the front end and I'm going to refresh before I click on my menu item so that they can reset. And let's just say I go to this page, our story. You can see already, this is a vast improvement, right? It's our story. But if I were to go to that blog posting that I showed you and click on it again, you can see that it does have the name of the blog, but I want to take it a step further. So we're going to go back to our permalink settings <clears throat> and instead of just having post name, so let's pick custom structure, then I'm, I'm going to add in category in this mix. And you'll see there are some available tags right here. So it makes it super easy. I don't even have to type it out here. I can just select category and then it's going to do forward slash post name. So <clears throat> now I'm going to have a written human readable category and post name. So as far as my URL it's becoming much more user friendly as well as search engine optim optimized because I'm narrowing down my topic even more in my URL. So let's go down and save that. And let's refresh our site one more time. Doesn't change anything about this page that we looked at before. It still has a good URL. But now if we go into our blog and we pick on this blog again, this blog post that was in that category, you're going to see now my blog post URLs have got the category forward slash the post name. So it's just a much more pointed URL as to what the content is going to be whenever I follow that permalink to this site. Okay, two more things that I want to point out. One, if when you go to save this custom permalink structure, if you get an error versus having the permalink structure updated, uh, success message, then what that means is you may have a problem saving to your .ht access file on your hosting server. Now, one that might not even have one or two, it might have the wrong permissions. Either way, if you go to WordPress's support page 
for using permalinks, fixing HT access, you'll find how you can double, uh, troubleshoot this and fix your problem. And I will put this URL in our description. The second thing that I want to point out about permalink settings is these are our common settings, but you will see there are also some optionals if you want to do some category based, if you want to do product, and as you add certain extensions out there, they may give you more permalink options in here for the type of extension that they are. Like for instance, if you have shopping in here, you may have product permalinks like I have here. And that's it. That's how easy it is to get a much better URL or permalink on your WordPress website. I hope this helps you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and we'll see you again next week.